Hey guys, I am the Space Cowboy from Byron Bay, Australia's most prolific Guinness World Records breaker. I'm going to be back in my hometown, Byron Bay, Australia, performing a brand new show. I believe that children are natural born scientists, but I want to bring out the scientists in everybody. So in this show, I'm going to be performing mind-boggling acts, deadly demonstrations, and proving the science behind the unbelievable. Welcome to Stranger Than Fiction. I'm the only one in the world who's ever attempted this. My name is the Space Cowboy. Space, the Space Cowboy. The Space Cowboy. The Space Cowboy. The way he struggles to even find his bow makes me a little concerned for his health. Don't try this at anywhere. He grabs that arrow straight out of the air. It's amazing. How can Shane catch an arrow with his hand while blindfolded? William tell you. We're in Australia to meet this adventurous Aussie archer. At the moment, I hold 54 world records for all sorts of crazy stunts. I like the dangerous, the freaky, the bizarre. Testing myself in ways that other people probably shouldn't, wouldn't, or couldn't. <laughs> it's all real, it's all live, and it's dangerous. <laughs> so how does the space cowboy pull off his eye-catching stunt? There's not just one arrow involved in this stunt, there's four. There are three arrows mounted on bows on tripods around the room, and the fourth is in a bow that Shane is holding. Each bow is next to a target which has a button behind it. So when an arrow hits the target, it presses the button that releases the latch and fires the next arrow. Shane shoots his first arrow, and this sets off the deadly chain reaction. He has less than half a second to react as the arrow comes towards him, and a window of only 20 milliseconds to grab it as it passes by. So a precise setup sends the deadly bolt back to Shane. But how can he catch it if he can't see it? Instead of sight, Shane relies heavily on his sense of hearing. He's able to hear when the first arrow hits its target and when each other subsequent arrow leaves the bow, so he knows when the final one is speeding towards him. Shane relies on a sense called proprioception to tell him where his hand is even if he can't see it. By practicing his grab in the same spot over and over again, Shane builds up the long-term motor memory required to catch that arrow without consciously thinking about it. What you see is exactly what you get. I have been hit by a high-speed arrow with a metal tip and it has gone right through my hand. You can see a little scar there. <laughs> I'm always thinking of new crazy stunts to perform and ways to push myself. Wait until you see what I've got next. Congratulations, Shane. Take a bow. <laughs> <laughs>